here is here are great news here are great news you are an accountant you the cfo you the financial analyst we are here again to help you uh, multitask using the shortcut keys or using an uh, advanced excel uh, in short or in a nutshell that is advanced excel here with me i have a 10 essential uh, tricks that accountant should know the tricks that accountant should know number one is the keyboard is the keyboard a shortcut keys are you that accountant or the cfo who normally use the mouse leave mouse leave mouse to this uh, junior spouse so you must understand the shortcut keys a good shortcut keys here which you can uh, get it very fast is height and plus h so if you try to click hard hard plus h you will see what will happen you get so many things and because if you click this you will find that your tool bar is surrounded with all the shortcut keys all the shortcut keys and from there you can be able to execute your shortcut keys number two you have you are an accountant and in most cases we do identify the errors in our financial transaction we have to identify whether our financial transactions are in concurrent with our stakeholders' uh, statement. A good example is bank. So if you find an error, we use the conditional formatting. We use the conditional formatting to do what? To alight or to pick that, to give a color that error so that you can easily know if it is red. What does that mean? It is not correct or it has an error. So, and then another one is the utilize the sum if average for a complex analysis. For a complex analysis. Then we ask ourselves, which role do you hold? Are you that kind of a person who need to give out a report on a daily basis, a weekly basis, monthly basis, a yearly basis? Which kind of a software do you use for analysis? Even in your a thousand softwares for analysis excel is the, at the top so if you need to master what how do i how do i need to know how to use the average average if the sum if and more a function in excel which is used for what the complex analysis another one is the call seek function the call seek function ask yourself do you know really where there is a, uh, the call seek function you must be an accountant who is a creative who if you close your eyes you can be you can't know goal seek function is at the uh, is it right or at the left side of the of the excel function right so that you know and you must know what is the use for example this one is very good because um maybe you have you have been told to get a target uh, you are evaluating for a target uh, target sales for a certain a certain period of month so you will realize that here you have certain variable and then you have your ta your target here, you have your target here. So we use the call seek function so that how, if you want to change your target, what could happen to our variable here? What could happen to our variable here? What could happen to our variable here? So we use the call seek analysis to just predict or what do we want to achieve at the end? What do we want to achieve at the end? And then we have now to create a different what if scenario. To create a different what if scenarios. So in the case of what if scenarios, you must understand the if function statements. You must understand the if function statement because this one we can use in bank reconciliation, we can use in account payable reconciliation, we can also use in account receivables. That is what if statement. What if statement? So you must master, you must know how to master the game here. You must know how to master the game here. And then you must also know how to summarize, analyze data using a pivot table. Using a pivot table. Using a pivot table. Remember, um, in every organization, they have to evaluate whether they are making profit or losses or they are making progress in terms of sales. So you have to generate the data from the system, whichever the system you are using, either QuickBooks, the Sage, the ERBs, and all the so, all the accounting software. So once you generate the, the, the raw data from the accounting uh, software, that will 
pivot them we pivot them so that we can be able to extract what we need maybe in the uh, course of the monthly report the uh, the report the region report remember in a big organization we have the regions like we are we sent in the coast region uh, Nairobi region all over the the country and we have to do analysis to know whether where can we do adjustment here and there so we must use the pivot table to do that and then we have another one here number seven which you must leverage on the vlookup the index and the match and the x lookup function and x lookup function you can't call yourself an accountant waiting for a senior accountant position a promotion position if you don't know these things if you don't know this thing that is the v lookup the index the march and the x lookup so you must differentiate if i pick you uh, maybe assuming you are in a, a panel or you are an interview panel and then i ask you between x lookup index march and v lookup which one can you pick you don't even know does it uh, does the same function or does uh, does it does the different functions Yes, you must know how to differentiate and you must know which one is superior between the X lookup index match and the V the V lookup and you only know when you have been using it. If you use it in a daily basis, you know what will happen. For me, I know. So if you join that class, that will show you which one can you use. You don't if you have this one, you can just pick one. But there is a one which is a superior, and that one will show you in the class show you in the class and that now another one here automate the task with micro automate the task with micro if you know how to use the x lookup you don't need to repeat yourself typing the equals x lookup and yet we have the macro we have the macro what do you need to do record the procedures and copy paste the procedure right Record the procedure and copy paste the procedure. You can even call that macro, uh, macro x, macro x. Uh, we, we have the x function. Yes, you can call macro s, s, uh, x. So whenever you paste the formula macro x, you know I'm pasting the formula, which is x look, x lookup formula, x lookup formula. And then another one is the filter function. The filter function. There's no way, there's no time, there's no simple time which you will not use the filter function in executing accounting function. So if you are in a role where you are not using filter function from morning to evening, then you are not in an account uh, position or you are not in the uh, finance uh, office. You are not doing the finance office. Maybe you are doing the, the marketing. You are calling the client using phone call. If you are not using this one from morning to evening, so make sure that if you are not using from morning to evening, don't tag yourself as an accountant. You must change your role. And then we must now, another one is the power query. The power query is we use to clean up the data. Remember, uh, once we extract the data from our, the accounting software, they are not clean or they are not what we want. Remember, you will, you will find that the dates are mixed with other things. A good example here. Maybe you are reconciling the bank, uh, the Mpesa statement, the Mpesa statement. So you will realize that Mpesa statement, if you look at the date of the Mpesa statement, it is combined with the time. It is combined with the time. So we use some of the power query to just different or to extract the time in a separate column and we extract the date in a, a different column different column so that we can be able to what to do our analysis with a clean data with a clean data so this is what you need to do this is what you need to know and this is what you need to master so we have a master class which uh, will teach you on practical thing of which we cover this and the other one which you have not covered here so it is not limited to this one only it is not limited to this one only. So make sure that uh, you reach us on, uh, you can either send an email to give some consult, give some consult at gmail, at gmail, uh, dot com, or visit our website, or visit our website and get all these uh, videos. That is give some uh, CPA, 
CPA Center dot com. So you can enroll there or you can give us a call. You can just reach us. We will guide you on what to do next. Thank you.